Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Scorpios. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a honest impression or slash feelings uh, for you currently forecast for the individual who you're thinking about dealing with who you may have recently broken up with I'm talking about like in a month's time span um, We're gonna look at those uh, Individuals, okay, so if you're interested in hearing what I have to say make sure you stick around for one If you're also new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can become a part of the tribe My name is crystal. Welcome here to mystical crystal tarot and if you are also uh, here just watching the video and you know just want to support make sure you smash the like button okay smash the like button so that the algorithm knows to suggest more videos to you in the future and you actually get notifications and all that stuff okay and let's get straight into it also if you want a personal reading check out my description box uh, that's where you can see all the opportunities to get 20% off on your first reading okay get 20% off um I promise you you're not gonna regret it let me fix this yeah get 20% off so that you can actually um like I said get a good price on your first session with me so let's go ahead and get straight into it the person my Scorpios are dealing with interested in may have just recently broke up with what is this individual's true feelings or impression in regards to my scorpios okay okay so how this person feels about you how they feel about the relationship how they feel about the challenges present or the challenges just in general and where this relationship is headed and um, let's look at also further feelings that they may have for you okay and then I'm gonna pull two of these okay so let's only pull two alrighty so let's actually speak on what's going on here so the first card is going to represent how they feel about you so we do have these six of swords so this individual feels as if you guys both need to work on communicating with each other a lot better um they feel like sometimes also some of you may get kind of caught up in being super anxious or just having anxiety just in regards to dating because for a lot of you, you may have gone through your fair share of like disappointments in love where you thought you could trust the individual that you're dealing with. And then it turns out the person is just not trustworthy, doesn't deserve your love. And it now leaves you in a place now where you have to kind of be weary of the individuals that you run into. OK, um, this is also that energy of them just wanting you to just be at peace within yourself like for some of you like I said you may have gone through your fair share of stuff even outside of dating like just in life where you don't really have full faith or trust in people and sometimes you guys kind of over analyze the situation or just assume things are just what they're not and that makes them you know on edge at times so they feel like you have to chill at moments and also like i said work on the communication and understanding each other now how this individual feels about the relationship i do have the page of swords so again it's literally repeating kind of the same message to me with the page of swords this is like them feeling as if sometimes you guys get into petty arguments or you guys just say things to each other without even thinking about the impact of how both of you will feel after you say certain things um this may also be just mm, you guys also getting this person feels like you guys need to get a better idea of where this relationship is headed um they feel like sometimes you guys have ideas of where you want this connection to go but then they kind of fall short whether that's like moving in together, getting married, and then it's like you guys talk about it and then things just never come out of it. They feel like there should be more action than talking with the relationship at this point, especially if you guys have been dealing with each other for some time. All right. And this could even be like you being in a connection with this individual and this person 
you know, feels like, okay, instead of you saying, let's get into a relationship, let's actually do it, you know? Now, when it comes to the current challenges that may be present with this connection, I do have the star card. So it's two things. Um, they feel like there's a lack of either hope and faith in where this connection could go or belief that, you know, if you stay with this individual, that things will evolve into what it's supposed to be. Um, also this is destiny. So this person, you know, may have things that they want to do in life, like maybe move or, you know, take, uh, take participation into like certain endeavors that may not be in the same state. And they understand that if they do, then it's going to drive a wedge in your relationship or it's a situation of healing. That's the problem. Like somebody hasn't completely healed from their past or their experiences um, to where, again, there's this lack of faith, okay? Now, when it comes to the outcome or the direction of where this relationship is headed, we do have the hangman. So for a lot of you, this relationship is headed towards stagnancy. If you guys don't change the position and where you guys are seeing it, okay? This is either you or this individual or both of you because the hangman is like, a relationship being put on pause or a situation being put on pause until you see it from a higher perspective. And there's this clearing energy of blockages at that point. So you guys may kind of go on a break to get a peace of mind. If you guys are already on a break, I see you guys stand on the break for a little bit longer. So both of you can get a peace of mind. Okay. But if you're not on a break, this is more of it just either getting really stagnant or are you guys actually taking a break to actually change your perspective on seeing things? Now, to further look into their feelings about you, this individual goes back and forth, back and forth about whether or not they want to put work into this, especially if we're speaking about an Aries or a Taurus. They go through this back and forth, back and forth. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Especially if they come in and out of your life too. That explains why. Um, they, they don't know. Um, I also feel like sometimes as well, they have other people in their, their ear that kind of influence them being back and forth as well. This could be family members, friends, even romantic interests or person that they're dealing with on the side or however your arrangement is set up for some of you. But this person goes through that constant back and forth because they feel like sometimes the relationship itself is back and forth. So it puts them in a space of being like, well, yeah, maybe we could fix this when you guys are on a high in the relationship. But when you guys are on a low, it's like, mm, I don't know if I just want to keep putting work into this. I also feel like there is a level of a power struggle here. Um, this individual may want to have more control in the relationship. And if you are a male Scorpio watching this, you may be like, I don't really know about that. Um, for my female Scorpios out there, this, this male may be just more dominating than you're used to. Okay. But let's actually look at the cards that I pulled for you. These are either messages from your spirit guides or things that your spirit or not spirit, your person wants to say to you. So we have, um, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So your spirit guides really just want to convey that, look, love is not a situation where you can determine, okay, this is the right way to go. This is the wrong way to go. You only know what the right and wrong is based off of your experience that you've had with that individual. All right. And, and what it's led you to up until this point. So more than just looking at the right or wrong, whether it's right or wrong to get back with someone or right or wrong to cut them off. Think about more of what the outcome is going to be for you. And if that's something that you're going to be happy with in the end, love, you can do whatever the hell you want to do in love. It's just a matter of, are you going to be okay with the outcome? If it doesn't play out the way that you want it to, or if it does, you just need to make sure that you're going to be comfortable with what comes with accepting whatever person in your life and the experience that they're providing you. Um, and you know what you will do in regards to accepting it. I hope that makes sense. All right. And then we also have emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So, and this is also understanding that your emotions should not dictate every single action that you make. Only 
The only time that emotion should dictate an action you should take is never. <laughs> Literally, never should you allow your emotions to move you enough to make a decision, especially if it's not logical. Now, if you use your emotions to make logical decisions, which are two different things, that's different. But emotions literally fluctuate. Like you will be mad at this moment, especially me being an Aries. I know this. You'll be mad at this moment. And then down the line, you may cool off and you may get over it. But if you made a decision out of the heat of the moment, that's not something that you could take back now that you're calmed down. So never make decisions in regards to your love life. Even though it's an emotional thing, it should never be handled with emotions. Just logic. Does this make sense or does this not? Because there's a lot of times we act out of emotions and it goes left. But I'm done with the spiel. Thank you so much, Scorpios, for watching this. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you comment below. Let me know how you resonated with this video and just how you feeling. Like, tell me, tell me how your day is going, okay? I want to know. <laughs> and again, make sure you smash the subscribe button, okay? Smash it, smash it, smash it. Uh, if you want a personal reading, again, my information will be below. Get that 20% off if you're new um, to my channel and you've never had a reading from me. And for one, my readings are very affordable, honestly, okay? My readings are affordable and it's a lot more clarity than uh, you will expect. So definitely check that out and I will see you in the next one.